Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 1st of December. Meteorological winter is here, and it's going to feel like winter by about Wednesday of next week. Let's check things out today. There's the water vapor satellite view, a fairly benign zonal flow across the country. And around here, a persistent low cloud deck is affecting places like Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. But for many places, the sun is shining brightly this afternoon over parts of northeast and south Alabama. Check out the temperatures. Mostly 60s on the board. Birmingham at 64. Around the nation, temperatures not bad at all for the 1st of December. The cold air trapped in Canada for now with the zonal flow. But again, that's going to change as the upper hair pattern buckles next week and the pattern changes. There's a watch warning map around the nation, very quiet, as you might expect. We do note a dense fog advisory for parts of Mississippi for tonight. We'll see more fog developing around here. One could be required for parts of Alabama later tonight. Check out that convective outlook. If you look really carefully in the northwestern tip of Washington State, they might see some thunder, but other than that, it's quiet. And the rain for the next five days? Pretty decent uh, rain amounts for the eastern half of the nation as the transition to cold air begins next week. And our state amounts uh, about an inch and a half for the north, one half inch for the south. And the bulk of that will be late Tuesday, Tuesday night, maybe early Wednesday of next week with the Arctic front. So let's dive in. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars, troughing moving into the Pacific Northwest. Otherwise, the flow stays zonal, and for us should be a nice day. We start the day in the upper 40s. The high will be in the 60s. The sky, partly sunny. Pretty much the same deal Sunday. We'll be in the 40s to start the day. The high in the mid to upper 60s. Pretty decent amount of sunshine. Monday, very mild. We could see low 70s on Monday. But you can see that organizing storm north and west of the state as the cold air begins to move south. And then Tuesday, you can see the band of showers and storms on that front from near Indianapolis down to Shreveport. And that will likely move in here Tuesday afternoon. This is Tuesday night at midnight. Interesting to note the uh, GFS is suggesting the rain could taper off to snow flurries up in uh, Tennessee. Maybe extreme north Alabama, but nothing really significant. And then Wednesday... The rain shifts down to South Alabama. We get into much colder air. We'll likely be in the, 50, the 40s all day. With gradual clearing and a stiff north breeze, it'll feel much, much colder. Thursday, we go down in the 20s. High most likely in the 40s. And this is Friday, a week from today, the 8th. Big trough over the east. And again, the air cold and dry. And kind of a secondary surge of cold air coming down the pipe. This is the end of the forecast period. Monday, December 11th, still got troughing centered mainly over the northeastern states, and this is suggesting we might moderate a little bit still. Looks like we start that day below freezing. We'll go out there in voodoo country. What do you say? This is December 17th, 384 hours away, but just wanted to show you the GFS still shows a very cold look out here. A 1,046 millibar high northwest of Des Moines and a very cold air mass over the entire eastern half of the country. So it sure looks like the latter half of December is going to be pretty cold. And just for the fun of it, do we dare look at this uh, accumulated snow graphic from the European Ensemble out to 45 days? Really not as snowy as some of the other looks we've seen. About half the members with nothing Half the members with light amounts of snow, the ensemble mean, the cumulative mean is under one inch uh, between now and mid-January. But again, this is all voodoo. Our numbers look like this. Highs, uh, mostly upper 60s, maybe some low 70s uh, through early next week. And then they really drop with 40s next week. It's going to be so much cold, uh, colder than current temperatures by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video for me will be Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have these video updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. 
Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.